Welcome back to Tales and News. I am Sneha Dominic. First, the headlines. The College Union organizes a cycle rally as part of Independence Day celebrations. The Gandhian Peace and Nonviolence Studies Center hosts a session on the impact of Mahatma Gandhi on India's freedom struggle. The Department of English officially inaugurates the association activities for the academic year. The Theresian Literary Club and English Association celebrate National Reading Week with the release of Fabula. The Department of Sociology observes World Day Against Trafficking in Persons with a webinar. The Department of Chemistry hosts a session on career opportunities for students after graduation. The Department of Commerce organizes a national webinar on the importance of digital skills. Now for the news in detail. As part of celebrating Asadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, the College Union organized a cycle rally in association with Kochi Metro and My Bike on 4th August. The principal, Dr. Lizzie Matthew, flagged off the rally from the campus at 6.30 a.m. and 20 cyclists made their way to PT Usha Road and back. Speaking to Theresia News on the significance of this rally, Vice Chairperson Varsha Venugopal quoted, we were able to channel our energy through a sport activity and participating in the series of events organized as part of 75th Independence Day instilled a spirit of nationalism in us. The Gandhi Smriti and Darshan Samadhi New Delhi, in association with the Gandhian Peace and Nonviolence Studies Center, conducted a session on impact of Mahatma Gandhi on India's freedom struggle on 5th August. Professor M.P. Mathai, adjunct professor of Gujarat Vidya Pit Ahmedabad, delivered the keynote address. Dr. Preeti Kumar, the coordinator, delivered a speech on the relevance of celebrating Azadi Ki Maholsav. Student members Sinigdha Pradeep spoke on the impact of Mahatma Gandhi in South India, while Maxilina Maxi spoke about the relevance of Satyagraha with special reference to Kerala. The center conducted a patriotic medley competition as part of the program and the winning participant, Rishan M. Shiraz, a second-year student of Garment Homeopathic Medical College, Calicut, was awarded a cash prize of Rs. 2,000. The Department of English and Center for Research inaugurated the activities of the English Association for the year 2021-22 on July 16th. Celebrated poet Mr. K. Sachidanathan inaugurated the association with a talk on reclaiming roots about environmental sustainability. Reverend Dr. Sister Vinita delivered the presidential address and students recited a few of his poems. The secretary of the association, Sneha Dominic, explained the logo for the year. Dr. Leta Nair, head of the Department of English, delivered the felicitations and the session ended with cultural events by the students. The Therese Literary Club and English Association launched Fabula in connection with the National Reading Day celebrations on July 5th. Fabula is a collection of audio stories consisting of six English, one Hindi and three Malayalam stories. Reverend Dr. Sister Vinita released Fabula and spoke about the deeply satisfying experience of listening to stories. The initiative aimed to inspire students to discover the allure of reading and to encourage them to read more extensively. The audio series was added to the college digital library. The Department of Sociology, in association with the Cultural Academy for Peace and the Kochi City Police, hosted a webinar on human trafficking, inclusion of survivors, rescue, prevention and rehabilitation on 30th July. Ms. Aishwarya Dongre, IPS, the speaker, corrected the common misconception that trafficking is uncommon by pointing out that human trafficking was prevalent even in a state like Kerala. She encouraged the attendees to report any cases to the police and stated that People must come together to fight this crime. The Sister Batil Memorial Knowledge Center, Department of Chemistry and Center for Research, hosted a webinar on 8th July to discuss career opportunities after graduation. 65 students attended the webinar led by a leading education consultant of Movement or Education, Mr. Manoj Palatingal Jose. 
He encouraged the students to focus on their interests, personal traits, their studying style and personal values to strengthen their talents. He stressed on the importance of having a foolproof action plan for a better future. The Department of Commerce hosted a national webinar on the importance of digital skills in association with the ICFAI Business School Bangalore on 1st July. The resource person, Professor Raghavendra Rao, ICFAI Business School Bangalore, encouraged students to be lifelong learners by unlearning and relearning. The session expounded on the importance of digital skills and their impact on job opportunities. This brings us to the end of the news for this fortnight. We leave you with the prize-winning song from the Asadi Ki Amrit Mahotsav competition. Enjoy and have a great week.